got myself a new tow rig. I'll see you patrol. 2.8 to that easel. It's just dead stocker. The only issue I gotta do today is replace the aircon pipe. Runs along the back. So down in there, this pipe here, I've gotta unbolt that. Runs around the back of the motor. And then runs down into there. Because it's got leak right about here somewhere it's pissing out and I've also got to replace the little receiver dryer that we've got here with a new one mine looks a bit longer than that but the new one should fit um, I'm using a GoPro today something a bit different see how it goes I don't know if you like it or not but pretty tidy inside really standard seats and it's manual new clutch 420 on the clock UHF it's got a winch bar on the front of it brand new so yeah I just want to get the aircon done it's just a five seater Got some king wheels on it oh no tough wheels that's what they are tough wheels on oh, what are these 33s I'm not really sure whatever Sure, let's just say 33s because um, it's had a bit of a hit in the back on both sides. And she's been rear ended at one point. But uh, all the chassis and everything under here is all straight. It's been to the panel beaters and all checked out. Um, I bought this for a fucking a tow rig. Tow my skyline down here. Get tuned up. So I've got my new pipe here, that's my winch cable that I've got to fit one day to see if, it, if the winch even works. But yeah, I'm just going to replace this. So yeah, that runs down, to, down into the firewall that goes into the car. So I'll go slap that on real quick. Yeah, it's pretty much it. Quick video, I just want to test this little GoPro out. And, See how it is, so yeah, comment below if you like it or not. If not, I'll get back to the G7X I've been using. But yeah, I'm gonna go install that now, real quick. Shouldn't take two bolts, two bolts, three bolts, the bracket, and probably massage it behind the firewall there. See how it goes. Alright, so I've got them both out. They both look the same to me. So this is the one I just pulled out, I think. Yeah, as you can see right there, it's rubbed through on a something yeah she was leaking there and this one looks to be all good uh, what's the seals like because I actually didn't get any new seals that's the old one you should be right if not your mate's got some new seals a fella that does all my aircon regassing but um, the hardest part about all that is you gotta disconnect the whole top mount intercooler off the firewall because yeah, there's a bracket that goes into there and then there's these two back lines you gotta undo here and you sort of just gotta massage it out this way and yeah she comes out that's just me boost line but yeah you just gotta yeet this backwards a bit disconnect it from the front here and yeah that really probably took five minutes at most so I'm just gonna throw this new one in and then we'll just get onto this receiver dryer hopefully it'll fit I dare say it should I don't see why not just trying to see oh yeah that looks piss easy there's just a 10 mil bolt that like wraps around it like a hose clamp style and then the two 10 mils and then the plug I'll probably have to put that plug on as well so we'll see in a sec Alright, so that's all put back together now. That only took another five minutes. She's all tight in there. Sorry about the terrible lights. It's, it's getting pretty dark out. Street lights and stuff are on. But um, yeah, there was nothing really difficult about that whatsoever. So yeah, it's just 10 and 12 mils. She, yeah, she's all in there. And, oh, you can't 
can't see anything. Hold on, let me get the light. We've got a light now. So yeah, you can see, got the new pipe in. It's not going to be rubbing up against that anymore. It's got that little bit there and might have to do something about that, that wiring. I think that's for the winch, I dare say. But yeah, there's no... No cable on my winch at the moment. She's in the back there, as I, as you've seen before. But yeah, there's nothing hard about that job whatsoever. So now I just gotta gotta do this. Two 10 mils, three 10 mils for the clamp, and that should slide out. So I'll, I'll do that real quick. Right, old and new. This one's just a standard one. And yeah, that's the receiver dryer I just pulled out. And this is the new one, I just transferred over the, the switch for it. And I just got to pull those bungs out and fit the two little pipes. So we'll do that right now. Go sort of something like this. It's getting real dark now, so I gotta hurry up. But yeah, I just loosen that little bracket off and it just slips down into there. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now and then it's just put these two back on. Alright, so you can see we've got the new one in there. It was pretty well easy enough. So that's the whole system done now and it should work now. Just gotta go and see and harass my aircon fella and throw him some dollars and he'll gas him up all legitly and have some cold aircon hopefully. So I might go and do that now, it's the time. It's 6.30, or 6.28 to be exact, but yeah, let's go and make that happening. Anyway, we're back in the cockpit here. Sorry about the, the darkness, as I said, it's like 6.30. But um, when I got it, it didn't have a boost gauge, but it had a boost line there, so I was just throwing that in there. Loosely like, and so I've got to mount that down and wire it up because there's no light and it's tinted and you can't see, but we're on 10 pound of boost. Got to wind that up, so I've got to put a three inch exhaust on it. And also I got rid of the, it had a pretty junk radio in it. And so I put another junk radio in it there. Um, and it had a blown fuse, which I had to replace there. Yeah, so that all lights up now. And something else I've got here. I've got a little uh, volt gauge that I got. I'm just gonna probably put that up there, pull one of them out, throw that up in there. It's piss easy. And I think that's about it. And I've got some speakers I found in the shed. And an ant wiring care might run a sub and shit in here. So I've got to put them in the front doors. But there's no speakers in the back door there. But there is the option too, so I might cut them out or get a block or something, put some 6B9s or something like that in there. But that's it for today. See you bye.